Hey guys, it's been a while, but welcome back to another episode of Andrew Plays with me, your host, Andrew Ambrose, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. For today's game, we're going to be taking a look at an obscure game from our friends at Hudson Soft. Today's game will be 3D Bomberman for the Sharp X1. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're familiar with the Bomberman series. It's Hudson Soft's flagship franchise, and even after, even after more, even after, uh, even after 37 years, um, the series is still going strong with the, um, with the recent success of Super Bomberman R. Um, but any, but I decided to take you guys back to, bomber, to, like, the inf infancy of Bomberman. Like, this game... The 3D Bomberman was originally released in 1984, just a year after the original Bomberman, which came out in 1983. And, well, this game was released on the... For, as far as I know, the MSX and the Sharp X1. I think there were some other platforms, but the only two I know are MSX and Sharp X1. And this version that I'm playing here is the Sharp X1 version. Um, but... Um... Yeah, so, th basically, 3D Bomberman is, well, the original Bomberman for MSX and Sharp X1, but it's has it's in a first-person view, so it's literally first-person Bomberman, and it's pretty cool and kind of freaky, because one of those, it's kind of like one of those dungeon-crawling things in an RP those RPGs, like Fantasy Star, where it's like, it's a 3D dungeon crawling maze it's kind of it's kind of like that except well instead of an rpg it's bomberman so uh yeah i guess that's about for me to explain so without further ado let's begin i got my uh nes controller here hooked up to my computer with the usb thing let's begin all right we got the instructions here by Kawaguchi. I don't know who he is. I guess he's the programmer. I guess they couldn't bother giving out the full names back in the day. Alright. So, for those unfamiliar with Bummerman, um, basically, you're walking around in a maze, and there are monsters lurking, and you have to get rid of all of them by placing bombs that shoot out flames that kill your enemies, but you also have to be careful not to get killed by the flames yourself, so... Once you place a bomb, you better get out of the way or else you're going bye-bye. What I like here is that they gave you a little uh gave you a little map on the the next to your first person view so you can at least see if a monster is like nearby or something. And cool thing is is that you can actually go back so you can like move backwards. Ooh, damn. It's kind of scary. Especially when... Like, if you... Like, if you die, like, the monster, like, shows up on your screen and it says, You are dead. It actually... It's so sudden that it's actually... See, see, look. It's, it's, isn't that... <clears throat> that... That freaks me out sometimes, you know? It's especially scary whenever it's like... You can't seem to get out of a spot that you're stuck in. So this is definitely like a claustrophobic sort of bomber man. Not for the faint in heart. Oh Christ. Oh shit. Oh, I got him. Okay. One more. Ooh, I made it, nearly made it out of that one.
Alright. Gotta be careful now. These monsters are crafty. Oh, I think I just saw it. Oh, God. <clears throat> Hell, if you... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Oh, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh, God. Y you know what? This could... This could kind of, like, be a horror game because, like, if you, like, play this in the dark, like, like, there's no music. You can only hear the sounds of your footsteps and the bombs and the dying enemies or something. Like, those are the only sounds you hear. And, like, if you combine that with the third-person perspective and the fact that, like, they are, like, uh, m like, you're moving, uh, like, uh, yeah, if you combine that with the fact that you're just constantly not, like, the monster, like, you move so fast and the monsters just pop up, this could be, this, it could kind of, like, double as a horror game. Oh, shit, oh, ah, uh, shit. And now I am the dead. Bleh. Alright. I didn't know how to get out of that one, so I just, ooh. Definitely not for the faint in heart. Oh, shit. Oh. God damn it. Oh, damn it. Game over for me, man. Uh, actually, uh, let's, let's try that again. Uh, alright, let's see now. Alright. Oh! He tricked me! Bastard. God, I haven't seen that before. I think that's like an oh, god damn it! I keep I keep falling into that trap. I'm so stupid. All right. Oh crap! Oh, I nearly I nearly died. Ooh, piece of candy. What is that thing? Ooh! I think it was like some sort of power up or something. I don't know. The, the thing about the um the original Bomberman, and I'm not talking about the NES Bomberman. I'm talking like the original for MSX and Sharp X One. There are no power ups. Like. like you're you're pretty you you're as powerful as when you start as when you finish, which means that you can't like get like speed power ups or power ups that allow you to drop more bombs or increase the length of your flames. You have you, you go with what you're given. So you just have to fend for yourself with your wits and no not no power ups to aid you. So yeah. It's pretty it's pretty basic, but still pretty fun. I love how you can move backward in the in the maze. It's like you're doing the moonwalk. Like you're Michael Jackson. Ooh, yeah, we got him. That was that was a wall. That was a boundary. Ooh, 
What's this? A ladder. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. He really duped me. Oh, man. Well, that's 3D Bomberman for you. Um, pretty interesting take on Bomberman, and, well, definitely not for the faint in heart. Uh, it, it is, like, you, it, it is easy to accidentally find yourself getting caught by a monster, but, yeah, this, yeah, it's pretty interesting take on the Bomberman formula, and I guess I would recommend it to diehard fans of Bomberman, or people who might find this interesting if they're tired of the same basic formula of the regular Bomberman games. But anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and uh, I hope to see you again next time for another uh, obscure but awesome retro game. And as always, I am your host, Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.